Hello, my name is Robert Hollins, and today we're going to be discussing a industry profile and standard analysis over OSHA record keeping, more importantly, 29 CFR 1904. We will start with a brief overview of the presentation. We will first start with the purpose, then transition to 1904.07, general record keeping criteria, then we will transition to 1904.29, general forms. Next will be 1904.32, the annual summary. Next will be 1904.39, reporting fatalities, hospitalizations, amputations, and losses of an eye as a result of a work-related incident to OSHA. Then lastly, we will finish with a brief conclusion. So, What's the purpose of this industry profile standard analysis? The main objective of this presentation is to identify five different industries from the 2014-2015 recordable OSHA year with infractions of citations, violations, and penalties in regards to general record keeping. While focusing on specific sections of the standard, 1904.07, 1904.29, 1904.32, and lastly, 1904.39. And to finish it up, we want to rank the business industries in terms of severity of infractions for record keeping. So with that said, let's transition to general recording criteria. OSHA states an employer must consider an injury or illness to meet the general recording criteria and shall be recordable if it results in any of the following death, days away from work, restricted work or transfer to another job, medical treatment beyond first aid, or a loss of consciousness. An employer must also consider a case to meet the general recording criteria if it involves a significant injury or illness diagnosed by a medical doctor. Organizations may be found liable or at fault of wrongdoing if any of the criteria is overlooked, not fully understood, or misinterpreted and not placed on the OSHA 300 log, which is used for all recordable events in occupational settings. With 66 total citations, we can see that general recording is a issue for the safety industry and OSHA. With 31 citations based off 29 inspections for a penalty total of over $9,000, we can see that manufacturing is having an issue with recording general data. Based on the fast-paced, production-oriented environment, Proper safety record keeping and logs can take a back seat in priority and be overlooked. In regards to healthcare and social assistance, which ranks second with 11 citations based on just seven inspections with a total of over $8,000 in penalties. With the extreme understaffing in the healthcare field, it creates knowledge and personnel gaps that can cause record keeping, duties, and OSHA recordable requirements to fall through the cracks and be left behind. In regards to general forms, OSHA states that an employer must use OSHA 300, 300-A, and 301 forms or equivalent forms for recordable injuries and illness. The OSHA 300 form is called the Log of Work-Related Injuries and Illness. The 300-A is the summary of work-related injuries and illnesses. And the OSHA 301 form is called the Injury and Illness Incident Report. Organizations may be found liable or at fault and penalized if the proper forms are not used for recording incidents that happen in the workplace or while on work payroll that is deemed recordable by 29 CFR 1904 Point oh seven, Organizations must ensure proper forms are used for each recordable year and submitted in a timely fashion. 
For example, recordable incidents must be placed on the OSHA 300 log within seven calendar days of the incident. Death and fatality must be recorded within eight hours of the incident after the employee has been declared dead by proper medical personnel. A total of 344 citations were noted on 315 inspections for a total penalty amount of over $146,000 for the OSHA recordable year. Manufacturing had a total of 147 citations over 137 total inspections for a figure of over 58,000 penalty dollars. Once again, due to the fast-paced production-oriented environment, proper safety forms and logs can take a back seat in priority and be overlooked. Wholesale trade is another fast-paced production-minded industry that can overlook OSHA forms and logs. With wholesale trades ranking second highest in citations for forms, this is an industry that needs to help place safety in higher regards, not only for the organization, but more importantly for their employees. Now, transitioning to the annual summary. OSHA states that at the end of each calendar year, you must review the OSHA 300 log to verify that the entries are complete and accurate and correct any deficiencies identified. Create an annual summary of injuries or illnesses recorded on the OSHA 300 log. Certify the summary and post the annual summary. Organizations may be found liable or at fault and penalized if the annual summary is not submitted by the deadline, filled out incorrectly, reflects mistakes, or has not been validated as correct. With a total of 256 citations, over 213 inspections, there seems to be an issue at hand that is costing all organizations a combined cost of $98,000 a year, with manufacturing ranking highest again at a cost of $52,000 for 96 citations there, a, there is a major need for a culture change in this industry to make safety a priority along with production. Public administration ranks second highest with 32 citations and 21 inspections, with a total cost of zero penalty dollars. Healthcare and social assistance ranks third highest with 24 citations for a cost of over $10,000 combined for one year. Healthcare and social assistance has established a trend that shows several gaps and downfalls in the industry structure. Critical changes must be made to ensure America stays a leader in the healthcare field. Now transitioning to standard 29 CFR 1904.39, reporting fatalities, hospitalizations, amputations, and losses of an eye as a result of a work-related injury. OSHA states that within eight hours after the death of an employee, you must report the fatality to OSHA. Also, 24 hours after the inpatient hospitalization of one or more employees or amputation or an employee's loss of an eye as a result of a work-related incident, you must report the inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye to OSHA. You must report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye using one of the following methods, by telephone or in person or by electronic submission using the OSHA website, www.osha.gov. Organizations may be found liable or at fault and penalized if the strict timelines and guidelines are not adhered to in order to keep track of these catastrophic events. Construction ranked highest with 142 incidents, which is sad because it is one of the physically hardest working occupations. 
The sad fact is most of the employees are illegal immigrants and don't have proper documentation or papers to, I to identify family members to notify them. Manufacturing ranked second highest with 108 citations based off 108 inspections for a total cost of $145,000. Administrative support and waste management and remediation services ranked third with 50 citations based off of 48 inspections for a total cost of $133,000. Wholesale trade and transportation and warehouse industries had 39 and 29 citations and inspections for a cost around $36,000 respectively. It is critical to remember that as safety professionals, our top priority is our employee safety. Let's strive to see a decrease in citations and penalty dollars and higher morale in the workplace. So, in conclusion, by analyzing the data displayed in the graphs, we see trends of unsatisfactory safety performance in manufacturing, construction, and healthcare services in the United States. Recommendations for improvements include educating employees and healthcare providers on OSHA standards and what is technically defined as a recordable, increasing education levels in management in the manufacturing and construction environments, and lastly and most importantly, making safety a top priority in the organizations and employing qualified individuals.